Hello, friends. Hey there, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is a Wednesday, September 20... Yeah, I should know this. 27th. Brenna, help me. Yeah. Uh, 2017. It's crazy. It's a crazy day. It's a crazy day. It's okay. That's all right. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. All right. I'm going to skip all the normal news that has been going on with Puerto Rico and the health care bill and all of that because it's kind of the same. Um, what I will tell you that's interesting is that Sports Illustrated has a new cover um, with a lot of players from different uh, sports linking arms. That in itself is covering, causing a lot of controversy. Someone is missing that should probably be on that cover. Another Sports Illustrated piece of news that's interesting is that for the first time they're having a second generation swimsuit model, meaning uh, Christy Brinkley's daughter, Sailor, will be in the issue this year. Interesting. Uh, what else did I want to tell you about? There was a very sweet story about a homecoming dance brought to the hospital um, so friends could help a friend of theirs who, was, um, who has leukemia not miss out on his homecoming, senior homecoming dance. And there was something else I wanted to share. See, this is what happens when you go, oh, this is big. Fixer Upper is not coming back. Fixer Upper is about to go into its final season. I applaud Chip and Joanna Gaines. They want to focus on their family and stay closer to home. Amen, brother and sister. Okay, if you missed any of that, you can always catch up below. Of course, we've got it on SammyCone.com, the Sammy Cone on Twitter and Instagram, or on YouTube, of course. So, what's going on? Sick and tired. I am not sick. I'm a little tired. Uh, I had to go to school to pick up my son yesterday for another vomiting episode. Can't keep food in this kid, so prayers would be appreciated for that. It is not strep throat, believe it or not. It's our first negative strep test ever, I think. Um, but I guess there is a contagious throat virus going around. So we kept him home. And then some other things going on last night. We ended up just keeping both kids home, even though it's benchmark week. I felt like they just need to rest and get this out of their systems and reset. And so even though it is my busiest work day, uh, we are keeping things simple, AKA this is, I think how I had my hair yesterday after my shower. Yeah, slept in. Do you have a cute new t-shirt on from Project 615 though? Do you see that? See the Tennessee stars there? It's a bestseller. I just realized that I needed it. So now it's mine. Okay, um, that's, it. Like I said, just coveted, covet your prayers. Um, Karis lost, their team lost um, their final volleyball game last, well, first game of the tournament, so aka final game for their season. But considering she never played volleyball before and she now has an overhand serve and was played multiple times on the A team, not like A team, 70s A team, like the A, you got it. Uh, I say it's a successful season for her, but we'll be glad to have some earlier nights in our house. So, okay, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.